Next! Oh, you're a high school teacher, are you? Oh, okay, let's get started. Ugh, instant coffee. First things first, saying the phrase, put your phones away. God damn it, put your phones away. Phones away. No taking selfies in class. Don't you dare take a selfie. TikTok dancers are not allowed. A meeting about meetings. A meeting about putting more meetings on email, being sworn at. And while it feels like seven decades ago, hearing the phrase, pock you miss. Thanks, Chris Lilly. Refraining from swearing back. Moderate to high disdain for yard duty. Copious amounts of admin. Remove your AirPods. I can see them, remove them. When you're a PE teacher and every time you say balls, like pick up the balls. All right, everyone, get a ball. All you hear is the teenage boys laughing. Going to the toilet throughout the day. Oh no. Parent teacher nights. Putting kids in detention and it goes into lunchtime because you know they're missing out on their lunchtime but it's actually worse because you're missing out on your own lunchtime. Hearing the boys crack off farts every single lesson. Holding in your own farts. But then you're thinking, oh why don't I just let my fart? But if you did, then you wouldn't hear the end of it. You'd be like the fart teacher. The smell of sweat and Lynx Africa trying to cover the sweat but it doesn't. Resisting the urge to tell the student who's come back from the toilet who clearly did a poo that they did a poo in front of everyone because it'd be funny but yeah, no, resist that urge. Knowing everything about all the relationships that are happening in the year level. Pretending not to know everything about all the relationships in the year level. Saying the phrase, yes, you need to know that for the test. Doing one thing wrong and the whole level picking you up on that one thing you did wrong and then giving you a nickname based on the thing that you did wrong. Being the oldest person in the room but also the shortest person in the room. Like seriously, what are they feeding these kids? A student accidentally calling you mum or dad. Saying the phrase, the bell doesn't dismiss you. I dismiss you. Opening windows to get rid of the sweat smell, putting on diffusers, putting the air conditioning on, the fan on, whatever, opening all the doors, but nothing, nothing will get the smell of BO out of the classroom. Explaining what you're doing for the lesson and then three seconds later being asked, what are we doing? Like, just listen. Marking written work and seeing hashtags in the text and also abbreviations like IDK. Boys at the back! saying the phrase, when you're in university, this will not be acceptable. But that doesn't work. A week of holidays, times about 12. The rest of society not letting you complain about your job because you have 12 weeks holidays. Like seriously, they're your kids. Let me tell you something, society. Your kids are a punish. Receiving a best teacher mug at the end of term, oh, times 250,000. Copious amounts of instant coffee if you're in a public school or barista made, like the coffee cart arrives or maybe there's like an on-site cafe with like a personal barista and chef in a private school. Constantly reminding year 12s that the final exams are just around the corner. Yeah, fat chance of that working. Yeah, that doesn't work. A major eye roll at that one teacher who always asks like six extra questions after the meeting's already gone over time. Ugh. Seriously, Janet. Putting the bin outside the classroom because it just gets used as a basketball ring. Dealing with a major crisis like a bird flying into the room. Ah, oh, there's poop everywhere. Students trying to hide themselves vaping. The smell of vape. It being very obvious that you're vaping. Denying students going to the toilet because 15 people put their hand up at the one time to go to the toilet. Bad luck if you actually do. You guys need to talk to each other, okay? You're not all going to the toilet one. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Not being able to find a pen because your students steal your pens. A call to IT because your computer won't open, won't connect, won't save, won't do anything because it's a piece of shit. Dealing with entitled parents who think that you've got something against their child, but the child's just a little shit. Hearing the phrase 9am to 3pm, that must be great. Marking, meetings, duty, report. As aforementioned, dealing with crisis like a bird in the... There's a bird in here again. Breaking up a fight. Looking around the yard after lunchtime and thinking, do I actually work at a tip? Have you heard of a bin? Being an art teacher and seeing how many teenage boys can sneak a penis into their work. They're pretty creative though. They're very creative. Telling your students to get off Instagram and TikTok and then secretly scrolling TikTok and Instagram. Your students popping up on your Instagram and TikTok. Oh, go away, I've had enough of you. Oh, God forbid seeing one of your year 12 students out at the pub because they're like one of the early kids who turn 18, like early in the year, and then you see them out. And then if you, if you even see them, then you won't hear about it for the rest of your teaching career. Walking around yard duty and thinking, if teaching doesn't work out, I could definitely be a prison guard. Complaining about how good primary teachers have it. Having to answer the questions that have been put in the question box in sex ed. Oh, what's this? A picture of a penis. Oh, another picture of a penis. As if. Saying the phrase, pull your pants up, pull your pants up. 
pull your pants up. Referring to year seven as year heaven because they just really haven't figured out high school yet until about halfway through the year. Referring to year eight as year hate. Referring to year nine as year asinine. Year comedian. They're all a bunch of comedians, aren't you? Stupid year 10. Trying to avoid answering questions like, are you married? Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? Where do you live? Do you have a dog? Oh, you're in a relationship? Oh, do you use Tinder? Are you on Tinder? Did you go out on the weekend, miss? Sir, you divorced? Sir, did you watch the footy? Using sarcasm as a coping mechanism. Finding kids vaping in the bathrooms. Being expected to solve a problem which happened like on Fortnite, like in the chat. Like, oh, this person said this in the chat. Oh, uh, being expected to solve that. Like literally, being expected, they shouldn't be playing Fortnite, but they are, and then something's happened, and then we're supposed to just, just sort that out in the middle of a day. You're great. Teenagers thinking you're totally lame, but sending you a friend request on every single social media platform. Mastering the art of a stern glare, because instead of using your voice, because like you'll get nodules. Mastering the art of writing negative report comments in a positive way. Needs to focus on having pants pulled up over ass crack. Is working hard on staying in the classroom and not going to your locker to get a pen every five seconds or just go to the toilet and vape. Extremely focused and hardworking after three Red Bulls. A phone call to a parent times 36,000. Watching kids all get a notification at once because they've got to take their be real for the day. Like seriously be real, most of your clientele are at school. Just pick it like 401 would be a great time to do it. Thanks, be real. Being a bit quirky because you're an art teacher. Getting hunger pains at 901. Actually making a difference in students' lives. And finally, seeing a penis etched into every single surface of every single thing in the entire school. Okay, see you, high school teacher. Bye. Next, a billionaire. I wonder how many people will reply to my Instagram story when I put that call out. Okay, bye. See you later. I'm out of here.